Good day, everyone. Hey, Father. As we come together to celebrate this solemnity of Christ the King, please join me in praying for Jay Arkari, Leah Militello, and Alton Moses. And let us unite our hearts and minds as we sing together, crown him with many crowns. Set free from slavery 
may render your majesty's service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the Israelites out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He is the head of the body, the 
church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. In a book by Graham Greene called Monsignor Quixote, he describes a story about a Monsignor, a very nice, sweet, little, simple priest, who by some mistake was made a Monsignor. So he and his friend, who was the local communist in the village, went off for an adventure to buy new clothes for him, and they had to go to another part of Spain to buy them. And so the story is all about their adventures together. And now the simple priest, of course, and the communist mayor disagreed on just about everything. But they loved each other and they were great friends. Anyhow, one night, poor Monsignor Quixote woke up in a stark terror and he was sweating and he didn't know what to do. And his friend woke up and he ran over to him and he held him in his arms and he said, what's wrong? 
What's wrong? Quixote said, I had this terrible dream. It was just an awful dream. I never had a dream like this in my whole life. Thank you for being here. And his friend said, well, tell me about it. Maybe it will help you to tell me about it. Quixote said, there I was. There I was at the foot of the cross. And everybody was screaming and everybody was yelling, come down from the cross, come down from the cross. And all of a sudden, an angel appeared with a whole group of angels and they took Jesus and they lifted him up from the cross in great triumph. And all the angels came and sang beautiful hymns. And everyone said, yes, we were wrong. He is the Messiah, the Son of God. And his friend said to him, I don't see anything wrong with this dream. It sounds like a great dream. Then poor Monsignor Quixote looked at him and he said, it's the end of faith. No faith is necessary. And if no faith is necessary, there's little to hope for. And if there's little to hope for, why bother with love? Green is trying to express to us that it is out of the crucifixion, Jesus' death on the cross, that we learn how to love. Imagine Jesus on the cross, Jesus himself suffering immeasurably, suffering beyond anything that we can understand feeling abandoned by his heavenly Father, betrayed by his friends, in physical agony at this cruel torture of crucifixion. And yet, like the other encounters in the Gospels, when many who themselves were sick, many who were seeking healing, many who needed to see and touch and hear Jesus, Again, Jesus puts aside his own needs, his own struggles, as he attends to this one particular thief, the good thief, as we have come to know him as, the one who simply asks Jesus to remember him. And Jesus, out of that great love, Remembering those words from Scripture, that God so loved the world that He sent His only Son so that all who hope and believe in Him might have eternal life. Jesus, with those words echoing in His heart, simply turns to that good thief and says, Today you will be with me in paradise. Even in agony, even in pain, Jesus pours out love to the one who calls in need. It is through the crucifixion that we ourselves learn to love because we are called to imitate our Lord Jesus, King and ruler of the universe, King crowned with thorns, King at his coronation on the cross, once again shows us the depths of his love by literally giving of his whole life up to his last breath because he loved us. And because of this powerful, saving, redeeming example of love, we too are called to share that love with others, to put aside our own struggles, to put aside our own needs and desires, to die to self, as Jesus calls us to, so that love may bear fruit in the hearts and the minds and the lives of others around us. Yes, Jesus shows us how to love. The cross stands not as a sign of defeat, but a sign of hope, so that all who look upon the cross, all who hold on to the cross, all who stand by the cross, 
may experience that great hope of salvation and one day too hear those same words from our Savior Jesus Christ. Today, you will be with me in paradise. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence, we place our prayers before our Heavenly Father. We pray for Pope Francis, that the whole Church listens to his message of peace, love, and unity. We pray to the Lord. We pray for an end to hatred, war and violence, that God's people can live their lives in peace and harmony. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for openness and truth in our church. While celebrating our multitude of good works, we also acknowledge our failures and the hurt we have caused to many. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the wise use of God's creation and the just sharing of the earth's resources. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all refugees and those in need of adequate food, clothing, and housing. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our departed family members, friends, and benefactors, especially Jay Arkari, Leah Villatello, and Fulton Moses, that today they may be in paradise. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for the Catholic community of Gloucester and Rockford. May the Holy Spirit inspire us to live the gospel, share God's love, and rebuild His church. We pray to the Lord. And again, let us entrust these prayers spoken and those prayers that are in the silence of our hearts into the hands of our Blessed Mother Mary as we ask for her intercession as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. 
as we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you. We humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as the eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption, and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory is without end, we acclaim. Who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Our Lady of the Voyage, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Anne and St. Joachim, St. Francis and St. Clair, St. Anthony and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through fear and with him and in me, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glory in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. On behalf of all of us here in the Catholic community of Gloucester and Rockport, I wish all of you who are at home praying with us and worshiping with us and desiring to be with us, I wish all of you a most blessed and happy Thanksgiving and the Lord continue to bless each and every one of you with his peace, his love, his joy, and his help. So may God bless you and happy Thanksgiving to all of you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Have a blessed day, everyone.